Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now the other day I created a video with Avast uh, Remote Assistance and a few people asked me could I make a video on VNC. Now I'm choosing uh, Ultra VNC, now there's a few different flavours but that's the version we're going to be using. I think it's probably the best one out of all of them, so that's just my opinion. But what we're going to do is use this Windows 7 64-bit and connect up to a Windows 8 machine. Now you can set this up if you're supporting small businesses and stuff like that you can set this up so you can maintain update all their patches and software and uh, fix any issues and you can remote into those machines with great ease with this piece of software it's a very powerful bit of software so we're just going to be touching on the basics and just try to connect up and show you how easy it is to set it up okay so anyway let's get started so what I'm going to do here is install the software Click OK here and next, accept that. Just go through the motions here now. You've got full installation. You can set up an Ultra VNC uh, server silent and you can also do the uh, VNC server and viewer, which is what we're going to be using. But if you want to set this up here, the silent install, and uh, you could do that one. Uh, and also that will allow you to, you won't get nagged with any boxes or popping up or anything like that. That's what that does basically. I'm going to go next here and uh, we're going to register the ultra vnc server and uh, as a service and also we're going to start and restart the ultra vnc service as well you can create desktop icons but if you didn't want the client to see all that sort of stuff you could then use this method and also the silent install version uh, the associated ultra vnc viewer uh, with a dot vnc file extension you could use that if you wish i'm going to leave that feature off now there's all the information for this type of stuff on their website it's got loads of information on there okay so we're just going to quickly install this now another thing you're going to have to uh, look into is the firewalls and also uh, the ports routers and stuff like that if you're using that you're going to need to make sure you open those up if you're having issues okay that's a given you have to sort that out yourselves so you can see here we're running a software firewall and you can see that it's allowed that to go through now if it doesn't allow it to go through you're going to need to right click and allow this to run through um, the machine okay otherwise you're going to have problems connecting that's a must uh, do thing for software firewalls and you will need to do that on all the machines okay now if you're running a router as I said and stuff like that you may need to go in there and open up a port by using port forwarding and stuff like that. Okay so now we've got that on the system we can come down to the system tray here and you can see there's an IP address there and we can right click on this and we've got a load of options false reboot uh, in unsafe, um, reboot into safe mode, stop service, uninstall service, list all your clients, kill all the clients and uh, add a new client and stuff like that. We're not going to touch any of this stuff we're just going to go straight into the admin properties inside here you can set up all your goodies you can see the um, ports here you can set up your own ports if you wish by default the 5900 uh, for the main and also for the HTTP is 5800 you can leave that on auto uh, which we're going to be doing in this video but if you can set this up yourself you can do uh, by putting your own port in okay so we can see here we've got our password here we must change this if we don't change this we aren't going to be able to connect to the system so I'm just going to change these two passwords here now we don't need to worry about this section here but if you did um, you would need to go through all this yourself and you can configure all this stuff as you can see here all the groups and stuff you can sort all this out yourselves if you need to do that okay uh, we're just going to be keeping it nice and simple for this one uh, disabled tray icon and all that sort of uh, stuff like remove um, wallpaper and stuff so um, you don't see the wallpaper it speeds up the connection and all that sort of uh, good stuff you can change all that if you wish we're leaving that as is as a moment and uh, you've got your multi uh, viewer connections okay and also you can go through and change all these as you wish but I'm leaving that as is as default okay the password is what we need to change once we've done that I'm going to click yes to this just to change the password now I'm going to go over to the other machine 
and make sure everything's installed and running on there. Okay, so now we're on our other machine and you can see I've already installed the software on here and you can see we are running here and everything's been opened up everything's been done you can see the IP address there 192.168.0.3 and if we right click on here we've got all the same features and stuff like that we've changed all the passwords and stuff on here as well and we are ready to go okay so now we've done that what we need to do now is make sure that everything is opened up now you're going to need to make sure that you've got all your ports forwarded if you need to do that and also again you can go to portforwarding.com and uh, find out how to do that you can also come up to the run bar here if you don't know how to get to your IP address you can open up the command prompt and you can type IP config in here and this should help you get your IP address you can see there but hovering over it will give you the IP address but that you can see there is our IP now also another thing that you need to do is make sure the firewall settings are okay here as well and you can do that by coming into not there but you can go into uh, search and go into control panel and then you'll want to need to make sure that all your firewall settings are set up now obviously on a company or business it's going to be different to this um, but you're going to have to make sure that all that is done as well okay and you can see here um, looking at the VNC we've got all that going through okay once you've done that we can go back to our other machine and we can now connect to this machine by using our IP address which is the uh, 192.168.0.3 okay so now we've got our machine set up how we want we can click on the viewer and this is what we're going to use to connect to uh, the other machine you can see the IP address here and we're going to leave this as auto here I'm going to connect up and straight away you'll get these two boxes popping up before you can connect you need to put in your password that you created and then you should be able to connect up to that machine just like so you can see the IP are listed up the top here and then you've got all your tools up the top which you can use to either open up a chat with the client now for, say for instance you needed to get some information off of that person you could talk to them uh, through here which is a nice feature and also you've got some other bits and pieces here you can hide your toolbar you can um, toggle uh, remote input and remote blank monitor you can um, open up a file transfer so if you wanted to pull files from one machine to the other you could do that um, as I said if you was forgot to pull some files off of the machine before you went on your meeting you could easily connect up and drag all those files straight across okay so let's just close it off and there you go you can refresh the screen and all that sort of good stuff uh, but pretty much um, that's it in a nutshell it's, it's pretty much like a lot of other um, remote support software so we're going to kill this connection here you can close connection and you're done so that's basically how you set up ultra vnc um, it's very easy to do as you can see it's a very powerful bit of software now if you're running on a, a network for a small business you may need to make some changes to that to make it uh, work for you but it is pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to do once you get it set up you're pretty much good to go you'll be able to remote in and uh, fix the any issues or update or patch anything that you need to do on their machines and keep them up and running okay so anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i hope this video helps you out if it does then hit the like button guys also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos okay so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now